uh, welcome to a new session. Uh, I hope you studied the first lesson and learn it. Uh, today we are going to start a new lesson. Let's take a look to the new lesson. Shogla is this Khoshamadin Bardega, Omid Kudarsi Gudashara Khanda Vashin, while I'm Rose Darsi Jadid Khuda, Banama Khuda on the Mehrapan or Mosmik. Okay, dear students, most welcome to lesson 6 for grade uh, 11. Uh, here I am again with the new grammar, but I hope you practice the first grammar. And now we are going to study new grammar. The title for the new grammar is simple present tense. Uh, I'm sure you guys know how to use simple present tense in your daily activities. Uh, uh, the formation, the structure of uh, uh, pre uh, simple present tense. But uh, today I'll be lecturing more about the simple present tense. First, take a look to this example. She eats meals. I do my homework. She does her homework. This simple present tense. I'm sure by studying these uh, examples, you got the focal and the important point of simple present tense. Uh, how you can talk about your daily activities or uh, action happens repeatedly. For example, Ahmad lives in Kabul. He is, uh, he is a student of grade uh, 10. Uh, he wakes up early every day. He regularly offers his prayer five times a day. He departs home at 8 o'clock. Uh, uh, he attends his lessons on time. Uh, dear students, in this paragraph, uh, we use from simple present tense. Ahmad wakes up. Uh, Ahmad lives in Kabul. The simple present tense. He's a student of grade 10. Also simple present tense. He wakes up uh, uh, early in the, every day. Uh, a simple present tense. He regularly offers his prayer five times a day. A simple present tense. He departs home at uh, eight o'clock. Uh, a simple present tense. He attends his lessons on time. Is also simple present tense. Now you know how to use simple present tense. We use simple present tense to talk about daily activities, action which happen repeatedly or regularly uh, every day. Simple present tense. It shows an action. Uh, that happens regularly, repeatedly, or daily. We use from helping verb to does. Uh, form of the verb is first uh, plus s e s or i e s. Uh, uh, for the third person singular, we add s e s or i e s for the uh, verb. Uh, for example, she wakes up at uh, seven o'clock to attend her lessons at Kainat Modern School. This action is happen repeatedly. The action is happen regularly every day. Uh, they study for their exams. This the action which happening uh, repeatedly every day. Uh, sh uh, she or they study for their exam. I go to work every day. This the action which happen repeatedly. We teach uh, we teach uh, uh, students at kind of, uh, at English uh, center. Every day we attend to the English center. The students come to the class. We teach the students. The action happen repeatedly or daily. Here is the structure of uh, a simple present tense. We use subject plus verb plus uh, SES plus object plus complement. I wake up early in the morning. We go to school at uh, 8 o'clock a.m. She, uh, she studies English. Negative subject plus do does plus not plus verb plus object plus complement. She doesn't study her lesson. We don't play game. You don't watch TV in the afternoon. Uh, after helping verb do does we put not this uh, statement is uh, negative interrogative do does plus subject plus verb plus subject plus complement do we play football every day does he study english at kind of modern school do they practice uh, grammar uh, in negative interrogative we put do does at the beginning of sentence uh, after do does we uh, put uh, subject after subject not plus word plus subject plus complement. Does he not play football? Do you like uh, chess? I uh, do. I teach you. Eng do I teach you English? This is the negative and interrogative. Uh, this is the negative interrogative form of uh, simple present tense. A spelling rules. We add e uh, es to the verbs that end uh, and s uh, uh, double s. Uh, S H C H X O uh, for actually for third person singular. Uh, mess, messes, watch, watch, uh, watch, watch, uh, mix, 
goes. Uh, this is the example of uh, rule number one. Uh, rule number two, if the verbs end in consonant Y, we change Y to I and use ES ending. Uh, uh, for example, carry, carries. Uh, try, tries. Uh, rule number three, but play, play plays because his, wor his verbs end with the uh, uh, this verbs end uh, with the uh, vowel and y. Uh, okay, students, it was uh, the end of lesson. Uh, I hope you practice and uh, make your own example for uh, simple present tense. Just keep practicing. Inshallah, the next day we will start a new lesson. Uh, but for now. Have a nice time, enjoy your day, Allah Hafiz.